Hi there! Today I'm going to get down to vocation novels of this year, five of my favorite books of this year, sorry, starting with The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. I absolutely love this novel because of the fact that firstly it's historic fiction and historic fiction is my weakness. We liked The Miniaturist because it has a doll's house at the very center of this novel and this doll's house can be found in Riax Museum in Amsterdam and I got to see it in person when I visited Amsterdam earlier this year. Jessie Burton herself was inspired to write this novel because of that living object. So it's about Nella Utman and all the mysterious happenings and goings on that start to happen in the house once the doll's house comes in. You see that a lot of the characters in the doll's house turn out to be the characters who actually inhabit the mansion in Amsterdam is a very eerie thing and I really like how things play out in this novel. So if you're into that kind of stuff then definitely give it a read. Second, we have to talk about Americana by Chimamanda Gozi Adichie. I absolutely loved all of her feminist novels and therefore I decided to pick this up. And I liked Americana because it's about one woman, a Nigerian woman, and how she decides to go to America. Later on she tries to become a citizen, but then she doesn't do it in a very legal manner. A lot of uh, things involved, but more than the legalities, she deals with you know, what happens on an emotional level to the protagonist as she tries to you know, make a life in the United States, pursuing her dream. And I think this book raises a lot of questions which are very important today, especially in the current political scenario of the United States. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, then definitely give it a read. I must warn you that towards the end, it does get a tad bit boring, but the characters are extremely intriguing and there are a lot of them in this book. So if you like that kind of novel, give it a shot. Third, we're going to talk about another historic fiction, Wonder by Emma Donoghue. I don't know if you can see that, right? But I'm just going to put it there. Um, I liked The Wonder because it has a very intriguing plot. It's a very short novel, as you can see. A decent 300 pages. Why I like this book is because there, at the center of this novel is a mysterious little girl who believes in fasting. She believes that fasting is, you know, the way forward and she lives in Ireland during the potato famine. So during the potato famine, food was really short and the Irish came up with different kinds of potato dishes. And until this day, they actually have a lot of famous potato dishes. If, if you're really into atmosphere and context, then you should definitely read this book. I liked The Wonder because of the fact that it's the relationship between a woman and this little girl. The woman is the sister who goes to help this girl, you know, see her case for herself. So she sees, she's very intrigued by the fact that this girl believes in starvation. So we'll have to see up to what extent this girl is willing to starve herself. And for that, you might want to read this book and see how the story plays out towards the end. So that was my third favorite of the year. Then we have The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Now, I'm someone who absolutely loved The Secret History, her first book, and I totally recommend The Goldfinch for other people who've also loved The Secret History. It's very different from The Secret History. It's not about a set of students. It's about this one boy um, who grows up. It's a coming-of-age story in some sense. He grows up in Las Vegas and New York City both. And um, at the heart of this novel is this painting, which is made by one of the Dutch masters. And it's called The Goldfinch Itself. It's of this little bird. Now, I'm someone who loves to read books that I get to do research about. That is why I like reading books with a lot of context, a lot of history, a lot of background. At the very start of this novel, there is a bomb blast in a New York City museum. And this child is witness to it. The rest of the book is pretty thick. But it takes you to Las Vegas, it takes you to the underworld, and it tells you how this innocent boy gets sucked into the underworld. And then it also shows you some of the harsh realities of this world. Pretty interesting, pretty eye-opening in terms of vastness of the American landscape and all the things that happen there. So I highly recommend it to you if you're a fan of those kind of things. And finally, my fifth favorite of this year is Educated by Dara Westover. I absolutely love the cover and the, the level of desolation that it portrays. I loved Dara Westover's memoir because uh, she writes from the heart. She's very open about talking about things that most people don't like to talk about like her emotions and, and what it was like growing up in Idaho and you know being part of a family uh, the central figure of which her dad believed in isolation the survivalist philosophy he thought that the world was going to come to an end very soon so she would have to like pack supplies get ready for that disaster so all her childhood was undocumented she didn't have a birth certificate until she was a teenager along with the rest of her siblings. Around three of them didn't have birth certificates. And the scary thing about this is that stuff like this actually happens and not many people write books about them. So if you're someone who is keen to read a story like that, and I must warn you, it does get a little depressing every now and then because 
some of the stuff she talks about is not what the average teenager or child should actually go through stuff like domestic abuse and a violent brother this book is a story of hope and it tells you about education and the value that it gives you how you can contribute to society once you get an education now tara westover's um example is very inspiring because she goes on to get a phd from cambridge university all the way from nothingness so if you're someone who like an inspirational read and something that's very emotional and tugs at your heartstrings then i would recommend this memoir anyway thank you so much for tuning in i absolutely enjoyed making this video happy reading lots of bookish love bye bye